Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando, Florida. Welcome to Gut, the action sports show that's gonna make you sweat. And now, today's fearless players, wearing the boundless blue from Robinswood Middle School, Julina the Bully. The rustic red from Dr. Phillips High School, Sarah, the Avenger Anderson! And in the power hungry purple from Southwest Middle School, Brad, the bullet, Hello, everyone. I am Mike O'Malley. Welcome to the Extreme Arena, home of Nickelodeon Guts. The action sports show where kids live out their greatest sports fantasies. Once again, we have lined up a tremendous competition for you here today. Our players will battle their way through four outrageous events, and after that, get a chance at tackling our radical rock, the aggro crag, where almost anything can happen. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner, and he or she gets to take home a glowing piece of our radical rock. Now remember, all of our events are specifically designed with our players' safety in mind. They will be wearing safety equipment and will have a professional stunt coordinator and stunt spotters with them at all times. So please, don't try this at home. Now on to our first event. We're going to strap our players into a harness and let them loose on our high jump bar. Elastic sports. Let's go to our referee, more quick for the rules. Mo. Mike, our players will get three shots to clear the high jump bar. Six feet, nine inches, seven feet, five inches, and eight feet, one inch. Only the best jump will be counted, and the player with the highest jump wins. We ready up there? On your mark, get set. You're taking a look at Jelena, the bully, Bogan. Stepping right over 6'9 with no problem at all. She will have two more attempts as she gets back up on the aerial bridge. She's getting some help from our spotters. And she will now try to beat 7'5. You see her concentrating as she's getting ready and making sure that harness is on secure. On your mark, get set. Yeah, look at her lips before she hits a low. She banged into that one with her knees. Very important, the precision on this event, as with most events involving elastic sports, she must jump right in the proper mark before it On your mark, off get over the set. Bar. And here we have Jelena the Bully with another attempt. No, she gets her feet into that one. So it looks like she'll probably end up with 6-9 being the final mark on that one. Let's go to Mo. Mo. Jelena cleared six feet, nine inches. All right, an impressive leap for Jelena on that first one bullying her way over six feet, nine inches. We'll now take a look, as you take a look at Julina stepping off, she should be proud of that jump. Sarah, the Avenger Anderson, now stepping into place. She will also have three attempts, three attempts to beat six, nine, and if she beats six, nine in the first jump, she will then have two more jumps to see if she can put herself ahead of Brad. On your mark, get set. All right, a little bit further ahead of Brad, I should have said, and no problem, Sarah. Hopping over that, the Avenger. 6-9, and she'll now we'll raise the bar to 7 feet 5 inches. She'll get On a shot mark, that one. Get set. All right, Sarah, up and over. Oh, no. She was halfway through that and said, ah, time to sit down. I got to take a seat on this one. I'm tired, Mike. I want to save it for my third jump. See if I can hit 7-5 on this one. On your mark, get set. All right, and Sarah with a big leap. Oh, and oh, no. It looked like the bar was going to hold on there at 7-5, but no, it bounced right off there. I believe she will have 6-9 as the mark, but let's go to Mo and check it out. Mo. Sarah cleared 6 feet 9 inches. So we have a tie in first place as Brad the Bullet gets prepared. Take a look at Sarah. She steps off the aerial bridge. Brad getting three opportunities to tie the score, of course, at 6-9, tie that height. And uh, if he can beat it at, on the first, or tie it on the first jump, he'll have two more attempts. On your mark, get set. Yeah. Brad, the human bullet, firing his way right into the high jump bar. Okay, the world record on the high jump, eight feet. That was set by Soto Mayer in the on your mark, get set. Pan Am games. Take a look as he tries to get over there. No problem on that one. 
He got the hang of it by that second jump, and he will now have an attempt to put himself And he will now have an attempt to put himself in first place. Sole possession of first place. He's On ready. your mark, get set. And Brad with a leap. I don't know if he's going to make it, folks. No way on that one. Uh, and you can see the shake of the head by Brad on that. We'll now get the official results from Momo. Brad also cleared six feet nine inches. That gives us a three-way tie. All three players in first place. Okay, let's take a look at the replay right here. Take a look at Brad as he goes up and, and over the bar, ties the score at 6-9, and did a great job on that one. And we have Jelena, the bully, right by. Tell me about that last event. It was fun. Yeah. Very fun. Did you ever think you'd be able to jump that high? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We, let's check out the leaderboard after our first event. Mo, Mo. First place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to all three players. <laughs> all right. So we got more coming up, but now it's time for Jelena to spill her guts. So Jelena, spill your guts. Uh. Jelena the Bully Bogan is 14 years old. The Bully is scared up trophies both as a cheerleader and a basketball star. When she's not intimidating competitors, Julie causes giggles by turning her shirt backwards. And that's Julina. Well, I think you're going to get a kick out of our next game. That's because you're going to be sitting at home while 40 different soccer balls are shot off at all of our players from six different cannons. It's called free kick. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, in this event, each player will have 30 seconds to defend their goal against two cannons shooting soccer balls at them. The player who blocks the most balls is the winner. Players in your places, on your mark, get set. All right, so our players, they are able to use any body part necessary to knock those balls out. And it looks like Brad is out of his box right there. That may be some disqualification points on that. He is standing behind his box. He is too far back in the line. He must stay in the box. So it looks like there may be just a competition between. We got eight seconds left as the balls continue to come at. Sarah, five. Angelina, four, three, two. One! Oh! Yeah. Thomas went out on that one. I bet our players are happy that that is an event that needs tremendous, tremendous agility in this one. It looks like Mo is ready. Mo, talk to me, baby. Here we are, Mike. We have a disqualification. Brad in purple would not stay in his designated box, therefore he comes in third place. In second place, with 14 blocks, Sarah in red. And in first place, Jelena in blue, 19 blocks. 19 blocks. 19 blocks out of 40 soccer balls. An excellent, excellent. Let's take a look at Sarah. She gets her hands right on that one. She also did a good job of knocking those soccer balls down in the allotted time. And excellent, excellent work on Sarah. Getting down there, all right. Staying in business. And we have Jelena, the winner of that event. Have you ever played uh, goalie before? No. <laughs> do, do, do you think you have a different opinion of playing goalie now? Yes, I think <laughs> I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's go to the leaderboard and check it out with Mo. In first place right now, we have Jelena in blue with 600 points. In second place, Sarah in red, 500 points. In third place, Brown in purple, 400 points. All right, more fun coming up. We'll see if they can tackle our basic training. And of course, Sarah will spill her guts when we get back, so stick around. Arena scoreboard, Julina with the perfect score at this point, right here on Guts, the action sports show that asks, do you have it? Yeah! All right, the Extreme Arena getting ready for our next event, which is called Basic Training, but before we get to that, it's time for Sarah to spill her guts, so Sarah, spill your guts. Sarah, the Avenger Anderson is 14 years old. The Avenger never backs down from a challenge in track and basketball. When she's not competing, Sarah loves to relax on the beaches of Hawaii. All right, and that is Sarah. Well... No time to relax in this next event. 
It is called basic training. As I said, it takes place here in our gym, and the obstacles change every day. Let's take a look at what we got going today. We got the cargo net, the tightrope walk, and then into the free fall, and then into the elastic jungle. Somebody tune that thing. And then right up the wall climb, they got to hold onto the rope, and then right into the pool. Well, let's say hello to Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo? Hello, Mike. These are the rules. Players will be timed from starting line to splashdown. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. All right, and Jolena the bull, she's, she's going to see if she can get up there like a bull working her way up that cargo net. And she's very slow on this. She's, she's on a... We got a false start on this one, folks. We got a false start, so she will be notified as she makes it across the tightrope walk. We will then come back down, and she will start over again. She is a lot of false starts, so no, she doesn't even want to get down. She wants to just walk right along that tightrope walk again. I get it. She's not going to jump down. She's going to walk right back down. We'll get her down the cargo net, and let's actually go for a ruling on that one from our referee, Mora Quirk, to find out exactly what happened on that one. Mo, talk to me. We had a false start there, so we need to start again. If this is a timed race, obviously we need to make sure the timing is correct. Back All to you, Mike. All right, thank you, Mo. All right, Jolena's ready. On your mark, get set. <laughs> Jolena flying up that. Oh, she put her she put her leg through that. She put her leg through the, the hole there. She's getting up there. Oh, right about the same time there. So she's kind of soft shooing it along this thing, folks. Very casual. Off and harder for our first. She's she's like ready to uh, go to sleep here, folks. I mean, she's not running this. It's a, it's a race. Come on, Jelena. That's it. It's often very difficult for our first player to have that same intensity because they don't have a time already set that they have to beat. So they are setting the pace for the other players. And Jelena, as she climbs up the wall, climb. It's time for her to get a little wet behind the ears. Get in the pool, Jelena. She holds her nose. She didn't get any water in it, hopefully. And <laughs> she's a little bit tired, but she got a smile on her face. Let's go to our next player. Actually, let's go to the official results. Mo. That time, Jelena clocked in at 47.1 seconds. All right, so. On your mark, get set. Jelena's perfect score may be very much in jeopardy right here. Right here, right now, because Sarah the Avenger is going to have to avenge that last loss. And right now, she's making very good time as she makes it across across the tightrope walk into the platform pausing a second before into the free fall but she still has good time here as she heads in the elastic jungle she's walking through the jungle making her way through and for somebody who's walking through it often our players climb on the bottom oh she's having a lot of trouble here in this elastic jungle folks it's like getting caught in a spider's web with the the web just keeps bouncing into your face and she's up the wall it's got to be close She's gonna have to get in the water very fast! Can she slide? Oh, wow. We'll have to get the official results from Mo. Mo. Sarah clocks in at 45 seconds even. All right, so Brad. On your mark, get set. Okay, so Brad is up and in. Talk about avenging. He's in third place right now. He can take this one with a fast time. Very slow times for our other players in this event. Oh, he falls! He fell off the tightrope walk, folks! He's gonna have to get back up there! He's at 15 seconds! Oh, he's at 18 seconds! Can he still make it back? This will be an unbelievable comeback if he can get back his concentration! He can't get frustrated! He can definitely do it! He's making good time, folks! He can still go for first or second place points! He's gonna have to really fly on this! He's gonna have to get in that elastic jungle and really crawl fast! Oh, he's walking through that thing! Oh, he's at 40 seconds. Can he get up there? This is going to be tough. Very frustrating for Brad as he tries to make it through the elastic jungle. Definitely having a lot of trouble. He just jumps through that thing. Oh, he's crawling his way through. He is definitely having some trouble, that elastic jungle. And that might be a penalty because he didn't come out of the front end of that. I don't know about that, whether or not it's a penalty. It could be close on this one. All right, so Brad. Brad having some definite trouble on the elastic jungle. Well, let's go to Mo. Have you confirmed with my judges to make sure that we have a penalty included? Okay, you take a look there at Brad, frustrated as he came through that one, and let's go to Mo. Mo? Brad in purple clocks in at 62.3 seconds. That puts him in third place. That puts Julina in second place and Sarah in first place. 
So Sarah going through the elastic jungle. When she entered the elastic jungle, she had a very, very fast time, but she was having some trouble. Look at her struggling through the elastic jungle right there. But she got off the wall with her whole situation intact as she went down the slide and into the water and came out with the first place finish. Let's talk to Sarah right now. Sarah, it's that elastic jungle. Talk to us about it. It was hard, so I just started pushing through it and stepping over and trying to get through. I just wanted to move him out the way. So I just did anything. And you did anything and you came out with the first place. Let's check the leaderboard and Mo, Mo. Right now we have a tie in first place. Both Julina in blue and Sarah in red have 800 points. In third place, Brad in purple with 500 points. All right, so now it's time for Brad to spill his guts. So Brad, spill your guts. Brad the Bullet Pushpin is 11 years old. When the bullet isn't shooting off unidentified flying objects, he's water skiing or playing baseball. And that is the bullet. We're here at the Extreme Arena. Very hot for our next event. Brad will be an identified flying object in this event. He's going to be like Joe Montana with an elastic cord on his back as he's throwing passes to Jerry Rice. Let's talk to Mo about the rules. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, all three players will jump off the aerial bridge, bounce up, and try to get a football through the tire. They will have 45 seconds to get as many footballs through the tire as possible. Players, on your mark, get set. All right, as you see our players jumping up and oh, throwing the ball through do I sound like more? Maybe not. We got a tie score at this point. One to one to one. And there's the bully. We got the bully versus the bullet in this game. And Sarah the Avenger, the bully, is leading with two shots right now, folks. 25 seconds left. The bullet, Brad, really needs a first place on this one if he wants to still be in it when we get to the mountain. And there you see him struggling to get back up here. We have the bully now with three in. And the Avenger also. Now, if the ball bounces out, and it still counts as long as they get it through the tire. Six seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Oh! All right, the judges tabulating the scores on this one. Again, as I said, if the ball goes through and bounces out, it still counts. It only needs to go through the tire. Let's go to Mo for the results. We have a tie in first place. Both Brad in purple and Jelena in blue have four footballs. That leaves Sarah in red in third place with two footballs. Okay, so Brad did get a first place on that one. Now let's check out the leaderboard right now. In first place, we have Jelena in blue with 1,100 points. In second place, Sarah in red with 900 points. In third place, Brad in purple with 800 points. All right, I, I don't want to make a mountain out of a molehill, but we got a mountain to climb. The aggro crash. Are you ready for this thing, folks? It may devour our players. Who's going to beat it? We'll see. All right, once again, our final event, the aggro crag here at Roar behind me, about ready to take on our players and our players ready to take on it. Let's talk to Mo and see where we stand. Mo. After four events, Julina in blue is in the lead with, in the lead with 1,100 points. Sarah in red is second with 900 points and third place goes to Brad in purple with 800 points. All right, she's in the lead. Who is that, some, uh, you know, oh. Let's just take a look at Jelena as she goes up and over. It's like Jackie Joyner Kersey would have done that, huh? And then there's Sarah, also at the same height, getting a nice little boost there from her own legs, uh, powering herself over, 7'5". And then here's a look at Brad. Brad, take a look at this one. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, it wasn't 7'5", it was 6'9". Oh, they all made it over 6'9". They all tied at 6'9". There's a look. He's happy. And now take a look at Julina in the free kick event, knocking everything down. There's one that got by her, but she was awesome in this event. Most of what came at her, she just knocked right down. Here's a look at Sarah. She's in the elastic jungle. Had a lot of trouble in this event. Very, very slow, but, but she won. She won the basic training. And here is a look at Jelena as she, boom, right through the middle of that tire. She did great. And we will see 
if she can hold on to the lead right now in our final event, the Agro Crag. A lot of things, a lot of surprises for our players in this next event. Rock slides, rock avalanches, snow in the face, smoke in their eyes, slime in their face, water up their nose, anything can happen. Let's talk to Mo. Mo. Speaking clearly, players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not cross into another player's path. Now, during their climb, they must light up each of seven targets located on their side of the mountain. The first player to set off all the targets, including the final one at the very peak of the mountain, will receive first place points. Mike. Symmetrical pieces of the aggro crag ready for our players to climb. As you can see, them getting their game faces on there, Sarah. Let me remind you that the points have skyrocketed in this round. Third being 375 points, second 550 points, and first 725 points. So let's go to Mo. I think they're ready. Players on your mark, get set. And they are off. And you take a look at Sarah. She's gonna see if she can beat out Julina on the way up there, and there's Brad. Oh, the Julina taking a look back. I don't know if she missed an actual one. The rocks are ready to fly on her, but she is in first place at this point. And there's a look at Brad. She seems to be crawling up there in second place. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, look at this finish. Oh, Julina in first. She's excited. Brad in second. And there is Sarah. Coming in third, at the top of our 22-foot aggro crag. Our players excited. Let's go to Mo and find out the results. In first place on the aggro crag is Julina in blue. In second place, Brad in purple. In third place, Sarah in red. You don't get cl much closer than that, folks. Let's take a look at the replay as Brad hits the first actuator. Then Julina taking a moment to make sure she hit the actuator and the rocks start tumbling on all our players. And then you take a bird's eye view of Julina and Sarah. And then look at Brad in the top part of your screen, but she just jumps up there. Julina taking first place. Very excited at this point. Arms raised in jubilation. Triumphant in this final event. And now let's find out where our final standings are. Mo. Here they are, Mike. In third place today, Sarah in red with 1,275 points. In second place, Brad in purple with 1,350 points. And our winner today, Julina in blue with 1,825 points. So, our bronze medal winner, Sarah, she won the basic training event. Nothing basic about that event. She did awesome in that. And there is Brad. Coming back and getting second place in the aggro crag. And then our winner, Julina. An awesome job for Julina. She took home the gold medal and she took home a glowing piece of our radical rock, the aggro crag. That is excellent. Let's talk to our winner right now. How do you feel to win it, Guts, Julina? What do you think about our competition here today, Sarah? I thought it was very hard, but it was very fun. I had a lot of fun. All right. No ifs, ands, or buts. These kids got guts. Do you have it? All guts players compete in Reebok athletic shoes. Life is short. Play hard.